Hi everyone, Fraser here from the Club 365 team. I've been promising in team meetings for weeks that I'd create a video to show you guys how I manage workshop tasks. And by that, I mean each of the workshops that we deliver here at Club 365 goes through a similar set of delivery phases and a similar set of tasks. And we wanted to create a way, a repeatable way of creating the same set of tasks for each workshop that we create so that we didn't miss anything out and so that we could manage our, our um, tasks effectively. What, what I did is I created a, a template plan, um, a plan that I work on day by day, and a power automate that copies the tasks from one to the other. And I'm gonna show you now how we did it. So here we are in my template plan. You can see it's a list of tasks that help me run workshops and help us deliver them uh, effectively in a series of buckets. Now these buckets, how we're using them is phases of delivery. So we start with agree workshop, we move to create the workshop and the marketing, set up and run workshop, and then post workshop tasks. Um, what we want is to take a copy of these tasks and the checklist within them and put them into my day-to-day -day working planner uh, as a set of tasks for a given workshop. And to tell the difference between each workshop, we wanna be able to give them different color labels as part of the process. So to run the flow, it's as simple as going into the flow, create workshop task flow there, click run. And here's where we select the labels uh, that will be allocated to each of the tasks in this instance of recreating a set of template tasks. So all I would need to do is if I clicked red and click run flow, then I would end up with a set of red tasks in here. You can see on here, these are these green tasks, the most recent ones that have been added, and they're Ahmad's workshop. And it's a nice template, and all that would come through when I run it is, is a plain label. And you just come in and rename the label, um, and whenever you rename the label, it will rename all of the labels of that color. So just as a demonstration for that, um, you can see they've all now called Ahmad 2. A uh, really useful way of, of categorizing or highlighting which tasks belong uh, to which project or, or which uh, sub project, if you like. So, how did we do it? Well, let's go into the flow. So, I'm going to go through it step by step. I'll try to relate back to the planner where I can. Um, it might get a, a, a little bit confusing when we get into some of these apply to each. Uh, so, I'll try and keep it uh, at quite a high level. Happy to take any questions afterwards. Uh, feel free to comment if you know of a better way. This is not necessarily the best way to solve this. Uh, I know that having lots of apply to each uh, loops within an, a Power Automate isn't always the most efficient. So if you know of a, a better or a different way to do this, would really love to hear from you. Uh, so I'm gonna take you through how I solved it for, for my given use case. Um, so here's the manual trigger flow that we're going to start our flow with, which is what you've just seen me demonstrate, which is where I select what label I want to add into my flow. Now, this is manual triggers, a really useful uh, piece of functionality in, in Power Automate. It, it would be good in, in this given scenario. You might, for example, add a date or a number of dates, different dates. You might have a start and end date or, or a due date or, or any date you can think of. And if you add them into the manual entry at the start of the flow, they can obviously then be used later on within your Power Automate. In my case, I've just stuck to labels. That was all I really needed. Um, I'm, not, I'm not complicating it with dates. The, we then go in to get all the information we need to do this. So this node here is gonna list all of the tasks within our template plan. So our template plan, it's gonna go through and put all of those tasks into a collection within our uh, Power Automate. Then we're going to list all the buckets that are in the template plan. There's only four. You've just seen them. It's going to put them in, into a collection for us to use. And then we're going to list all the buckets in our destination plan. Now, the reason we do this part is so that we can match. Uh, and in, in this solution, the, the way we match is on bucket name. So the bucket name in the destination plan needs to be the same as the bucket name in the source plan in order for them to match and for us to be able to put the correct tasks into the correct buckets. And that's what we'll do further down. So to do that, we're gonna need a couple of variables. The first one is the source bucket name. And the second one is the destination bucket ID. 
And we're going to use these to work out the destination bucket ID so that when we create the task, we can set the correct destination bucket ID and therefore the task will end up in the correct destination bucket. So here we go into the apply to each loops. We're going to start with the template task. For each of the template tasks, we're going to work out what the source bucket name is for that task. And we're going to do that by going through each of the buckets within the template plan itself and matching it to the bucket ID within the task until we get to a correct match. And when we do get to a correct match, it means that we, we're, we've got the correct bucket name, uh, bucket name in our template with the correct bucket ID that's allocated with our task so that we can set the source bucket name variable using the, the bucket name value uh, from from our from our uh, template buckets here. Okay, so what we've got now is we've we've gone through the task, we've done that loop through each of the buckets, we've got our source bucket name. We can use our source bucket name now to help us set find our destination bucket ID. So we're going to go through each of the destination buckets, and there are only four, and we're going to check the name of the bucket from the destination bucket against the variable we've just set until we find a match. When we do find a match, we know we've got the correct bucket name, so we can go and grab the destination bucket ID. And we're gonna grab, set this variable to the ID of the destination bucket. So what we've done there is for, the, for each task, and we'll, let's take one instance, for one task, We've gone and checked what the bucket ID is against that task, found what name, uh, template bucket name, that means it, it's it's in. So it might be the, the first, the second, the third, or the fourth. Um, let me just show you. We've found that it's the Agree Workshop bucket ID, uh, which is the Agree Workshop name, sorry. Um, and then we've taken that name and gone to the destination buckets list, which you can see will be in here. It's going to list out these. And we've gone to match the name to the name in here. Agree workshop matches to agree workshop. Once we've got that match, we've then taken the ID of that bucket to set our destination bucket ID variable, which will give us the bucket ID that we want to create our task with so that it goes into the correct bucket. So we've got all our information that we need now in order to create the task other than some of the details. So get template task details. When you list out all the tasks in a plan, it does give you a set of information, but it doesn't give you all the information. It gives you, for example, checklists is what we're using this one for. Uh, we need to get all the um, checklist uh, items in the checklist for each task. And this will bring that back for us to be able to then create the task um, and update the relevant details. So what we do here then is create the new task. I know it's quite simple. We're going to, in the new destination plan, we're going to create the task based on the template. And you can see we're using our variable here for the destination bucket ID. So this means that that task will get allocated to the correct bucket in the destination. So if it's a Gree workshop, it will end up here and not over here. OK? And you can see in here is where the manual entry right from the start is used. If I've selected red, then it will have a red label. If I selected all of them, it will have all the labels. Um, and you might have a use for that. It, it, at the minute, I only use one label each time I use this. And then so that creates the task at a very basic level with the title from the uh, template plan, the bucket ID that we've just worked out in all, in all that uh, uh, looping further up, and the label that we manually selected at the start. However, what's not being added in at the moment is the checklists or the description. And that's because when you create a task, uh, you don't have, you can't update that information. What you have to do, let me scroll down to the next one, is we have to use an update task details. Now we're doing it here solely to, to update the checklist and the description. So again, we've got another, another for each, and we're going to go through each each uh, checklist that's within this task. Um, and if there is a checklist, 
it's going to update the task details with the checklist ID and checklist title. Uh, you can also use this section for add-in attachments. Um, it, it, it's, the, it, it's the next step on from creating a task or updating a task. It's the, the details and the checklist is what we're using it for. So once that's finished, we're at the end of the flow there. What we've done is we've created each of these tasks into the correct bucket. We've created them with the label that we selected manually from the start. We've also created them with the checklists that they had in the template. And if they did have a more detailed description, we've also created them with that detailed description. So there you have it. That's how I created the flow to take a list of template tasks in a template plan. And every time I want a new workshop, create them as a new set of tasks within this plan. I hope you find that really useful. And there we have it. That's how I created uh, this solution in order to create a repeatable set of template tasks uh, from a template into my delivery planner uh, so that I can manage workshops effectively here at Collab365. I'd love to hear your comments, love to hear of any different ways to achieve similar or the same things, and I hope you find it useful. Thank you.